I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. Inglewood police are looking for a truck they believe was involved in a deadly hit and run early Saturday morning. The picture is blurry, but this silver or white Dodge pickup is believed to have hit and killed a person near Broadway and Dartmouth Avenue. This happened just after midnight. Police say the truck most likely has damage to its front on the driver's side. Colorado has some work to do when it comes to vaccinating our children. According to the health department's latest numbers, the state has vaccinated more than 194,000 Coloradans ages 12 through 17, but that's about 43% of that age group. The state health department is urging parents to vaccinate their kids so they can safely return to school and minimize any disruptions. New data from the state health department shows nearly 200,000 Coloradans missed getting their second shot. That's about 6% of the 3.2 million Coloradans who got at least one dose. But our state is doing better than the country as a whole. Nationally, only 11% of people who got their first shot missed the appointment for the second shot. Temperatures staying in the 80s, rounding out the rest of our weekend will be around 88 degrees for our high on Sunday. Monday for the Home Run Derby, beautiful weather on the way. 93 degrees will be that afternoon high. We'll hit 93 degrees earlier in the day, 92 by 3 o'clock, 89 by 6 o'clock, and 84 by 8 p.m. And for the actual game, All-Star Game on Tuesday, it's going to be gorgeous. We'll have temperatures around 90 as we get toward 4 p.m., then 80s through the rest of the evening, and then 8 and 9 o'clock will be around mid upper 70s. Now for the rest of the week, temperatures will be in the upper 80s and low 90s with a few scattered thunderstorms. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update, uh, update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.